Hey guys, it's Prav here and today I'm going to show you how to perform a denial of service attack. Now before I get started, just like my previous video, this is not for beginners so just make sure you know what a TCP handshake is before completely understanding what's going on or else I promise you, you won't be able to understand stuff. Um, but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this in, uh, you, I'm going to demonstrate this using a real life application. So what I'm going to I'm, I'm just gonna see I'm, I'm just gonna show you what's going on over here so I basically have a device called circle by Disney now there's not a fancy TV show <laughs> even though it is by Disney um, it might catch a lot of you guys by surprise but this is a parental controls device which essentially well, blocks people from uh, accessing let's say Instagram or accessing the internet after 2 a.m which is what I'm trying to bypass over here. Now, I don't use this anymore, which is why I took it out and I tried to find out a way to hack into it or to like deny its services, which is why we're going to be using a denial of service attack. So it makes a lot of sense. So as you can see over here, when I use my trace route command, it goes to circle and then it goes to my ISP, which is how, which is, which is why it's able to block a lot of my traffic by performing something called a man in the middle attack. Uh, and also it is hosting a server online so as if I just type 192.168 or 1.150 which is the IP address of this particular device as you can see it has a web page, a web page and it says it has my device name and it has all of these restrictions now how do I get how do I like stop it from restricting me but well, I perform something called a denial of service attack so we're going to use MSF console as I said and we're also going to I'm, I'm going to show you how exactly this is visualized using Wireshark so I'm going to just open up Wireshark over here I hope all of you guys know what Wireshark is um, and I'm going to I'm, I'm going to choose the interface and a filter so I'm going to just move that and ip.addr equals 192.168 there we go and if I just okay so as you can see there's no traffic going uh, there, there's no traffic between my computer and circle but when I perform this denial of service attack I promise you it's going to flood the entire table so in order for you to use this open up msf console and just type use auxiliary slash door slash tcp slash send flood which essentially ends up sending a bunch of SYN requests as you guys are aware of in the TCP IP model there is something called a SYN scan, the SYNAC and the ACK request um, or the acknowledgement packet so we're gonna do something called a SYN flood which essentially sends a lot of SYN requests to this device which eventually will end up running out of resources and it will deny services so all I have to do once you once you just open it up, you have to set your R host to that particular device. So I'm gonna set to dot one five zero, which is circle, and well, you just run. So as you can see over here, I've started sending a lot of different TCPs and requests to this device, and after a while, it is going to stop, you know, just functioning pretty much, and it's gonna enter this paralyzed state if. You could say so if I type 168 or 1150 I promise you it's not going to open up the web page which is which is why it's called a denial of service attack it's not going to perform any sort of service or the intended service anymore because it's already filled with so many tasks um, for example if you open GTA 5 Chrome and cyberpunk at the same time you you will sort of realize what's going to happen to your computer right um, it's going to end up you know crashing eventually which is what is sort of happening over here um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to demonstrate this is a very simple DOS attack but very effective and this is why I love, I love MSF console makes things a lot more easier for me <laughs> so um, that's pretty much it and please use this for educational purposes only <laughs> uh, and um, I will see you in the next video where we'll be performing a di distributed denial of service attack on the same device but until then, see you guys. Bye-bye.